Let me see, this is Walter. Hi, how are you? Uh, and we're in the uh, Museum of Modern Art, the little cafe on the second floor. And you introduce yourself, please, because uh, maybe I don't do it right. Go ahead. And I'm Matt, or Matthew Beal, and I'm here just visiting. Yeah, we can say about yourself a little bit first, right? Painter, reductionist painter. And well, you're at some kind of program now, right? I'm at, a, at the uh, Art Students League of New York Art Residency in Spark Hill, mm -hmm. New York, which is right across the Hudson River. 15 miles from here. By the way, do you have a lot of friends at the, uh, the, the learning at the Art Students League? No, nope. I don't know. I don't know anyone. There. I barely know anyone there. Right. Well, maybe I have to introduce you or <laughs> connect you on Facebook. Well, right? I just got here uh, a week ago. It'll be a week ago tomorrow. Yeah, but you don't have to be here to meet them. You can go yeah. like and look for a page on uh, face, face, Facebook and yeah. uh, see if there's any people. I have some friends, I'm sure, that have studied there. Yeah. And I photograph their artwork, which I've been doing for years, photographing artists' uh, paintings and sculptures and, and whatnot. And uh, who knows how many of the people that I know you might uh, connect with, right? Could be. I met a couple of people this morning at the residency um, that are students that uh -huh. are taking a class every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. One guy's name is Peter. Right. That's all I remember. Well, I want I want you to get uh, uh, comfortable in front of the camera because maybe we'll do this often or again at least, all right? <laughs> that could be. Let me see. We got this other character over here. Uh, he can introduce himself, and I don't know if he's ever Hello. been in front of a camera, <laughs> <laughs> or he wants to be in front of a camera or not. I don't know. Michael Corbin, how are you, Walter? I am Art Book Guy. Artbookguy.com. That's my website. Uh, I make am sure a, everyone you get it. There you go. Artbookguy.com. I'll give you a link on the uh, bottom of the YouTube. Very page. cool. <laughs> I am a journalist. I am an art collector. I am an author of books about contemporary art. We're actually here at MoMA because we're all friends and we're hanging out. But I love art. I'm madly passionate about contemporary art. And my whole shtick is I think that so many people out there like art, but they really don't have a strong understanding of it, and they're very intimidated by contemporary art. And the whole purpose of Art Book Guide, which is a brand name actually, mm -hmm. is to help people understand that they can have their own personal relationship with art, and that's what Art Book Guy is all about. Okay, now, considering about brand, did I introduce you to So Cool yet? You know what, I saw that on Facebook. You put it up last week, I saw it. Right. What is that? It's a, it's a networking uh, program or site yeah. where you can post on, on uh, So Cool, and it goes out to 40 different social networks throughout the world. I'm gonna get on that. All right, so connect with me there. I'll give cool. you a link on the bottom of this. Excellent. And also, yes, just last night I signed up for I Am Faceplate. So that's something new I'm gonna introduce you to. I Am, I Am, a letter I, Am Faceplate. So I'll give you a link to that as well. That's a new social that's, networking site. It's basically a, <clears throat> a page. Yeah. And you connect everything on it. Yeah. Whether it's your uh, Facebook, your Twitter, your um, oh, very cool. Your feeds for tweet, uh, Twitter, and uh, uh, your videos. Yeah. So, so it's it's helping you create your brand. Cool. And because I'll you said that. brand, that's brand you. baby. That's what it's all about. So now Absolutely. I'm going to take a little bit of a break and, and <laughs> eat some more, and we'll maybe see you later. every minute of every possible day. Not just every day, but every minute of every day. He had to have painted non-stop. I think Have you guys seen any of the uh, YouTube videos of him painting? I have not. I'm going to have to check them out. I'm 
only seen the one that he does in light painting. Beans and berries. Artbookguy.com, check it out. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Oh. One, two, one, two, one, two, again. Yeah, we can hear it. Go ahead. One, two, one, two. Our last step on the journey, outside in the garden. One of the things I love about New York is the penthouse apartment that I've never owned and probably never will. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. But, but it's a dream. That's the best scenery over here. It's a dream. <laughs> Why shouldn't you own it? Why shouldn't I own it? All it takes is money, right? Well, you know, you could always, you could always take a step from being artbookguy.com to artdealerguy.com. But see, then I would have to worry about selling things every single day for the rest of my life. No, not and then And then it would become about selling the art. It wouldn't become, it wouldn't be about the love of art. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you seen the Bavarian art sales proposal? <laughs> what might that be? Okay. If you introduce my work on I've seen it on Facebook, at BavarianArt.com, yeah. yeah. and you introduce that to anyone, and they happen to buy a piece, and they acknowledge that they buy a piece by yeah. giving you a copy of the receipt and making a note that you did, in, in fact, introduce them to my art, you will get 20% commission. So there you go. There you go. And you could be art dealer guy like that. Yeah. Without ever having to purchase the art. You see, most of the art art dealers and art galleries, they have to purchase the art, like from a fellow like this guy. You have yeah. to purchase it and then hold it in their, in their uh, inventory until someone comes along and purchases it from them. But it, with my, my process, it's not necessary. Yeah. They can just see it over there, you introduce it to them, and they purchase it. It's a little less than a normal dealer would get. Maybe they would get more money, but uh, it's uh, money just the same. Yeah, that's true. That's true, I guess. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're going to uh, we're going to come up with an idea. The three of us, me too. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna come up with an idea for the three of us. Eventually, something that will change at least some of the art world, if not the entire world. That's right. Together. And we may not think about it from this point on uh, for a while, but it will be stewing in the back of our brains. Yes, it will. Uh, and this is part of the brain project, which I hope you look at on the uh, YouTube videos. Thank you. Big time.